Should they match any offer? The Knicks for Porzingis? Nope. I'm a humanitarian, and I don't, I don't think that Porzingis should be consigned to this fate for the rest of his career. Because oh. he wants I mean, to live the American dream, and he I can't mean, with the Knicks? You got to let him go. You got to let him go. They're going to ruin his career. This is such a bad organization. And, and by the way, right now they got a hell of a coach, and they have a solid GM, and they have um, even the PR department is much different than it used to be. I have to acknowledge the changes they've made. But you've even heard Dolan recently comment about never tanking, and, and every single one of his impulses is the wrong impulse. And they will almost certainly ruin Chris Stapp's Porzingis. And so this is a team that I rooted for for, I don't know, the first 38 years of my mm -hmm. life before I finally said I've had enough. Do you know what, you know what Porzingis would do, what mm -hmm. Popovich would do if he could get his hands on Porzingis? Porzingis has the chance. You can't mm -hmm. say this only, you say mm -hmm. this about five or six players. Mm -hmm. has a chance to be the best player in basketball. Mm -hmm. That one day he can have some time as, mm -hmm. as the recognized best player in basketball. Mm -hmm. Let him pursue that opportunity because I do not trust the Knicks with a commodity as precious as Porzingis. I personally wish that ESPN would send you to L.A. You don't deserve to be in New York anymore. You're a traitor, okay? And, and, and somebody needs to call you out Guilty. on that. You're a traitor. You know, you know, whether it's the process and ignoring the fans, now here you are. The New York Knicks fan base has been subjected to this, this, this. Ooh, I don't want to use the word, okay? Other than a three-year gap in which they had a winning record and went to the playoffs, in 14 or 15 of the last 18 years, not only have the New York Knicks missed the playoffs, they have they made the playoffs one of those years. They they haven't had a winning record in 15 of the last 18 years. And here you are. I don't know whether you Oprah or or, or you or you or you, you you know dear Abby or uh, uh, damn it uh, Gail King, Oprah's friend, who I know very very well and is one of the sweetest women on the planet Earth. Let me tell you something. You ain't thinking. You think about Porzingis. Hell with Porzingis. I don't give a damn about his feelings. Get here's the check. Cash it and get on the damn court and play basketball. You're seven feet. You can shoot. You're seven, the, the, three. La the last time we saw you, your average 22 and eight, okay? All right, you knew, shoot nearly 40% from three point range. You're shooting over 43% from the field. And we're going to long leg. Exactly. This is the bottom line. The upside is there. We're in the business of trying to accumulate talent if you're an NBA team so you can be respected. Don't give a damn about his feelings. So, Max Kellerman, a native New Yorker. Supposedly a Knicks fan, a diehard Yankee, a diehard, a a diehard, a diehard Yankee so fan, bandwagon. living That's in gross. New, living in New York, in Hold on. So, living so in gross. New York. You're sitting up here and you're saying to New York City, forget y'all, forget your no. feelings. I want to think about poor Ziggers. This is Chris what I'm Stapp, saying to New York Ziggers. City. The hell with his this feelings. This is what I'm saying to New York Here's City. Here's the check, go play. Bill Simmons has a theory: you're allowed after 40 years to switch allegiances from a team if they don't give you a championship. I ain't bring that up. It's been 46 years for the Knicks. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed. Bill Simmons said it. You're allowed. In my, to do in it. my, no, well, I love no, Bill no, Simmons, no. I am also. I don't even think you need 40 loyal, years. I don't even think you need 40 years. Well, you're the one that brought him up. Especially if you live in New York. Like if you Bill live in New York, you deserve the best of the right. best. The Yankees, you deserve. Right. That's the reason I'm upset at Cashman. He's a great GM, but he's not the best in the business. He's losing to the Red Sox in the same division. Out of the question. Out of the question. New York Yankees fans deserve the best. New York Giants fans, among the best franchises, they can do better. They should be the best franchise. The New York Knicks are a laughing stock. I encourage New Yorkers to start sniffing around for other teams. I would say the lessons that I learned in my, uh, in my Seder, Stephen A., at Passover, yeah. where, where we related to old, what they call Negro spirituals, who related back to the, to the Exodus, where they said, where, let my people go. That's right. We used to sing this that around the past. Really let my deep. people go. Are you serious right Yes. Now? You need to let poor Zingus go. Let him go and be great somewhere. I can't. Don't I'm have dead. this franchise ruin him. And I would say, Knicks fans, you're also allowed to leave. Oh, my God. Uh, do me a favor, please. Yeah. Go to commercial. All right.